Okay, so welcome to this week's edition of the 10X Business Owners Mastermind Group call. Today, what I want to do is I want to get knee deep into referral systems, POIs. So um, I want to go into that in a deep way. I want to teach all of you how to leverage POI relationships, how to leverage your own POI network. Uh, I'm going to show you get my computer set up here. I'm going to show you how to actually leverage it on social media. And then uh, we are going to rock and roll. So POI, what is POI? So POI stands for person of influence. Everybody that is on the live call or listening to the recording, we all have a network that we have influence with but not everybody's a POI for you. A POI is somebody that has a high percentage of your target market inside their network. And what you gotta do is figure out, okay, who are those people for me, number one? Number two, do I like them? Number three, is there a baby step of some sort that we can take? And then finally, number four, take that step and then number five, follow up, make sure that that experience was acceptable. And then from there, you can pick what strategy you want to run with that POI. So let's go through it. I am involved in an organization called La Tip. Okay, Tip is a professional organization of men and women that meet every week for either lunch or breakfast for the purpose of exchanging business referrals. That's the whole reason they meet. What's interesting is I've been able to put POI on steroids within LATIP because we meet every week. It's a consistent meeting. And I'm putting people in that group that have a high percentage of my target market inside their network. So I just pulled up uh, LinkedIn here. And let me share my screen. And so this is Tina Reynolds. Okay. Tina Reynolds uh, owns a company called Uptown Studios. They are a graphic design, web design, development team, um, social media campaigns, all of that stuff. So if I was coaching Tina, I would basically say, hey, what you're looking for is people that go after small business owners. So who could those people be? Well, they could be insurance people. So somebody doing business insurance would be a great POI. Somebody uh, that runs uh, an IT managed service company would be another good POI for that person. Um, somebody that um, you know does printing or data and telecom, they go after small business owners, would be another good POI. A bookkeeper, an accountant, that would be another really good POI. And so those people would create what's called a power network for Tina. And so if I look at myself, right? So John Pyron and I already know that um, a good POI for me would be like Jim Canaris, right? So let me uh, get over here and type this in. So Jim Canaris, would be a great POI, okay? So, um, Now, what I'm after here is I'm after Jim's connections, okay? So Jim does insurance, okay? He works for Northwestern Mutual, okay? He is a wealth guy. He goes specifically after business owners. So if I wanted to generate referrals from Jim right now, what I would actually do is I would go to Sales Navigator. Now, this is a paid-for version, and if you want to do what I'm talking about here, you're going to need a paid-for version of LinkedIn. Then what I'm going to go over here, he has 500 plus connections, okay? I'm going to click on his connections. And then what I'm going to do is I look for, um, I'm going to start off with owner, 
because typically in a small business, they're going to use the title owner. Okay. And so I'm going to want those people that are second degree connections for me. Okay. So, um, back to what I was talking about. Okay. So what I did is I logged in and connected to Jim Kinnears and look at second degree connections. Then I'm going to add probably first degree connections as well. And yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Cause I want, I want people that he actually knows that he is 100% connected to. So what I'm left here with is 171 people. Now that's a lot of people. So I'm going to give it even, even narrowed down even further. I'm going to look at geography now because I want people that are in my backyard. So the Sacramento, California area is where I reside. Next is there are certain industries I want to focus on. So the industries I'm going to focus on are going to be where I really have success at. Okay. So marketing and advertising, I have a lot of good success in that space. Um, Real estate have a lot of good success in that space. Um, construction have a lot of good success there. And let's see here health, wellness, and fitness. Same. And Financial insurance, banking, restaurants, law practice, blah, blah, event services. Uh, okay, so those are the ones. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get a little bit more granular. I'm looking at company headcount. So I want people that have 50 employees or fewer. Boom. Boom. Okay, so this whittles the list down for me now to 21 people. So what I would do, and here's what I do do, is every single month I get together with Jim Canaris. When we get together, I basically print this out, and I would go to Jim, and I would go, hey, how do you know Megan? Uh, oh, I know Megan very well, blah, 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 really. Uh, and so I'd put it, uh, a check mark. Do you know James? No, I don't know James. What about Brian? No. What about Alicia? Yes. So I'm going to go through this list with Jim and I've been doing this with Jim since, Oh God, I don't know, uh, 2006. So I've got some history there with Jim and I already know that every single month when I do this with Jim, uh, I bring a list of 10 and I always walk out of there with anywhere from five to seven referrals. Okay. That's what I always do. Okay. So reciprocal referral relationship is, uh, an excellent, excellent, excellent strategy. Okay. And so what you want to find is other people that can be a great um, uh, POI for you. So how do you find out who would be a great POI for you? Well, glad you asked. So let me actually, I want to actually, the cool thing about doing these filters is I can actually say, I believe I could save this filter. Uh, well, whatever, I'll figure that out later. All right, so let me show you now how to find so i'm going to go to my client uh, here's a client of mine his name is Mr. T. Varakis. okay and uh so james if you want to grab um uh, like the lights over there and then we can turn this one off I'm good this okay perfect. all right cool um so Mr. T. Varakis is a client of mine he has 50 connections or five, over 500 connections, okay? And what I want, what I'm after out of this list here is I want people that are connected to him that um, would be a POI for me. So I just pulled him up. This is my actual client, okay? I'm gonna go to where it says industry, okay? And I'm going to look at the different p categories here. And it's going to tell you, here's the different categories that Stratee is connected to. Okay. And what I want is I want first degree, connect, I, I, uh, actually this first degree for me. Okay. Uh, what I'm actually after is I'm looking for second degree connections of his. Okay. And probably first degree connections. 
Okay. Now what I want is I want to hit it by industry. Okay. And so he's got a telecommunications person, telecommunications. Okay. He's got accounting. He's got uh, hospital and healthcare. He's got uh, marketing and advertising. He's got uh, professional training and coaching. Okay. And let's see what else. Okay, so that's about it. Now, what I want is I want to go through here and look at the different types of people, okay, that he has. So when I go down, he's got an uh, owner at Loomis Accountancy Corporation, okay, owner. So I'm going to write down accountant because I know he has an accountant, okay, he's a business, okay. The other thing is I'm going to go through here and look, okay, marketing, okay. I want access to the, the marketing that he does. Um, I want to go down through here and look at different people that, are potentially his client. And there's a reason I'm going to do this, and I'll share that with you here in a second. But I'm going to go through here and find people that would be a potential POI for me because they have him as a client. Does that make sense? So I'm going to get my list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Strate and I'm going to go listen. I'm looking to develop uh, more POIs and more referral uh, people for my network. So let's go through this list here. Are any of these people on this list uh, vendors of yours? And I already know because I help run his business that, uh, let me show you here. Uh, Monty Montgomery is a, is, he takes care of all the bookkeeping and accounting. So I reached out, to, I basically told Strategia, I said, hey, I want you to introduce me to Monty. And he said, sure. So he sent me and Monty an email introduction. I reached out to Monty with an email. I said, uh, uh, basically I responded to the introduction. I said, hey Monty, it's great, great to meet you. Both uh, uh, Calm Computing is your client and uh, Calm Computing is my client. And I'm thinking, man, since we have the same client, we probably have other clients that are similar. Why don't we do this? Let me buy you breakfast or coffee. I'd love to get a chance to know you and your business better and see what we can do as a joint venture moving forward. He said, yes. So we met, got together, sat down, had a conversation, come to find out he's got 146 CPAs in the Philippines, has a wonderful business model. There's a lot of uh, opportunity for us to work together. And where we left it off at is uh, I'm going to refer him to another client of mine and he is going to refer one of his clients to me. I'm going to approach his client. He's going to approach my client. We're going to both walk him through a process and then we're going to get back together about a week from now and look at what those results were. And by doing that, we're going to determine whether we're a good fit or not. I'm pretty confident we are. I really like the guy. So number one is I like the guy. Number two, he's got a tremendous amount of clients in my target market. Number two, there's a lot of stuff that we can do together from a joint venture standpoint. And then I'm just going to repeat the cycle until I find four people. I want four POIs. Four POIs that I can do a reciprocal referral relationship with. I can do a, a joint venture webinar with. Maybe I can record some content together. There's all kinds of things that you can do when you have a POI. Now, here's the cool thing is all that that's going to happen by doing that is you're going to get as many referrals as you want. And that's the power of POI. So what I want you to do is go through the five POI videos, okay? I'm gonna drop those into the membership uh, site and I'm also gonna put them up on the private Facebook group, I'll put a link to it. I want you to go through all five of those videos this week and get your POI network built. 
Don't drag ass on this. I'm telling you right now, just from sheer experience, I've had clients pay me lots and lots of money and drag their ass on this. And then they get upset when their referrals are not blowing up. Well, because they got to actually do the work. And that's the same thing for you. Don't drag your ass on this. Make, take action and make it happen. And I promise you this, you'll have as many referrals as you want. So with that said, I'm going to stop talking and take some questions. So, all right, we got one person on the live call. Area code 415, I'm gonna unmute your line. You may have to unmute yourself on your phone. Do you have a question about what we've talked about today? Is there any coaching that I can help you out with today? All right, well, Going once, going twice, done. All right. Okay, so you guys have the information that you need for this week. Go out and make it happen. Be on a live call next time so you can get some coaching, all right? Talk to you guys later. Bye.